Hey, what's up, guys? So today we're going to take a look at FC Barcelona winger Ansu Fati's medial meniscus injury back in November of 2020 because he's one of my favorite players at the club and he was also one of our best players earlier on in the season before we started getting destroyed by these other teams and before he got injured. So let's dive right in. And I also forgot to mention this is the topic we're going to talk about today, but I also talk about other things related to physical therapy and DPT school. So if that is something that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing and liking this video as well as turning the notifications on. All right, so now let's take a look at what exactly happened to Fatih's medial meniscus during that La Liga game against Real Betis back in November and what to look out for in meniscus injuries as well as potential rehab options for Fatih. So FC Barcelona, the team that Ansu Fatih plays for, confirmed when the injury happened that he does in fact have a tear in his internal meniscus on his left knee which basically means his medial meniscus so as you can see here you have two meniscus one on the inside of your knee and one on the outside of your knee and it sits between your femur and your tibia your femur being your thigh bone your upper leg and your tibia being your lower leg and so you have two of them, one on the inside and one on the outside. So now I'm just going to isolate the left knee and we can see that the internal meniscus or the medial meniscus is on the inside of your knee and this is the one that Ansu Fati tore. All right, so let's take a look at the injury itself now and take a look at what really caused him to tear his medial meniscus. And so as you can see here, if you focus on his left foot, you can see that the foot is planted on the ground right about there. And there's that sudden twist at his left knee, which is a common mechanism of injury for medial meniscus tears. And so the meniscus, what it should be doing is it should be absorbing the shock and it just helps with the general stability of your knee. But in this case, the external trauma from the foot being planted and the knee twisting that was too much or too big of a trauma for Fatih's meniscus to handle. So there are a couple of signs and symptoms that you can look out for when a meniscus tear is suspected, um, swelling or tenderness at joint lines on the medial side if it's the medial meniscus and the lateral side if it's the lateral meniscus. Um, is one and also mechanical symptoms when your knee is bent so if there's any clicking sounds or any catching when you're going from a full extension or an extension to flexion meaning going from um, your knees being straight straightened out to bending of your knees um, those are some common signs and symptoms that you should look out for when a meniscus tear is suspected. There are also some provocative tests that we can do to see if the pain is reproduced if a meniscus tear is suspected and Fesley's test is a good example of that. So for this test I'm not going to go into too much detail but um, all you're doing is having your patient bend their knees and stand on that leg that the tear is suspected and they're planting their foot on the ground, bending their knee, and all they're doing is grinding the femur on the tibia, femur, the thigh bone, and the tibia being the lower leg bone, and seeing if there's any mechanical symptoms that we talked about earlier that gets reproduced. Now, there are many options that you can go for in terms of rehab. Um, we know in Fatih's case, he had a surgery done on his medial meniscus on his left knee so that's why he's been out for four months now and he's expected to come back in April of 2021. So because it was a significant enough tear that required a surgery on his left knee, Ansu Fati probably would have been in non weight bearing status in the beginning of his rehab process meaning he couldn't bear any weight on his left leg and so some basic things that he would have done are just monitoring how the surgical site is healing at his left knee and monitoring things like swelling and pain. Now, what most patients would have done at that point after they have been cleared for range of motion exercises 
is work on getting that range back at the knee, meaning they ideally would be able to straighten their knee out, not all the way, but straighten it out and bend it, straighten it out with minimal pain so they can eventually return to their sports or their functional activities that they do every day. Also, what's important during meniscus rehab, um, once you get that range of motion back, or even during the process of getting the range of motion back is strengthening the muscles around the knee. So you can really improve the stability at the knee once you are back playing your sports. So I definitely miss seeing Azu play, especially with everything up in the air, with Messi's contract expiring pretty soon, um, getting blown out by PSG this past week in Champions League. So I hope Fatih comes back pretty soon to give us some hope going forward and for the rest of the season. Um, I'll definitely be doing more of these videos. I enjoy doing this, so be on the lookout for that. And thank you guys for watching.